it's beer o'clock on real ale craft beer and i'm delighted absolutely delighted to bring you a really special beer today only 1900 bottles of this beer was hand bottled in champagne bottles this is bottle number 1004 it's in a yeah 750 milliliter bottle 6.2 percent abv have a look at this it's by the wonderful Elgood's Brewery. And this is to celebrate 225 years of family brewing. They started life in 1795. It is £17.50 a bottle. So I want to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk the largest online beer store in the uk with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world i want to thank them for sending me this bottle because it's quite a chunk of change in this 17 pound 50. um i really hope it's going to be worth that money i think there will be collectors out there um who are probably familiar with our goods brewery who will buy this just to put on the shelf i mean i got a bottle of whipped bread up there the celebration ale from a 200 and something year anniversary plus a millennium ale from a brewery that went bust many moons ago in big timber 750 mil boxes type of thing um but back back to this um let's get it out then into a glass and see what we get um yeah if you're a collector out there you may want to collect one of these or if you're a lover of fine ales maybe buy a bottle treat yourself so it's in a cork and a cage. Uh, I'm always a little frightened with a cork and a cage. Um, if somebody wants to have a look at my... I did a... I got this far on a bottle opening, a cage opening of a bottle of Brooklyn Brewery um, number one, I think it was called reserve number one and took the cage off and the bottle re-fermented in the bottle and the cork exploded and it scared the life out of me oh. Blood my neck this is tight here we go oh. not so explosive this one okay so here we go then. So this would be a traditional ale, a uh, traditional ale. I think there's three or four different malts used to brew this beer. Three finger, slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation as the beer rolls up the glass. Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Look at that. Uh, so beers of Europe, link in the, in the description box of this video. It's not just a case of them selling fine ales like this. Uh, you can purchase, if you've been on holiday abroad, if you've worked away and you wanna purchase that very special beer that you found whilst away then you can find it or probably find it at beersofeurope.co.uk link is in the description box of the video um check them out there's a fantastic company and if you're in the norfolk area they have a massive warehouse full of beer and a restaurant so warehouse full of beer restaurant what's not to like slightly hazy beer then good carbonation looks really good amber in color Nice head retention, aroma. Oh, that, that's almost kind of, I don't know if I'm imagining something here, but it's almost like it's got a kind of champagne yeast about this. Hmm, interesting.
there's lots going on. There's licorice, there's a pepperiness, a spiciness. There's some stinging nettle in there from that kind of traditional, that traditional hop that they've used. That stinging nettle is a little lemony, a little lemony and kind of orangey, like a, like a cognac. I'm sure cognac, is cognac got orange? Pretty sure it has. Or Cointreau, wrong one. I'm not a spirit, I'm not a spirit drinker. Cointreau, it's got like a sort of a Cointreau like aroma to it. But lots of biscuitiness, lots of breadiness. It smells fantastic. Let's dive into this one. Cheers, everyone. Right, they've really hopped this. They've really hopped this beer. This is like a, I'm gonna say, about 50 to 60 IBUs, international bittering units, but all with British hops. So it's really quite earthy, peppery, spicy, stinging nettle-like. Ooh. First and foremost, when you get the beer in the mouth, when you're holding that beer in the mouth, you can feel that carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. But the bitterness is still going now. It's a real... It's almost got a, a, a really nice raw quality about it. It's very nice. Oh, but it's really refreshing. It's really drinkable. It's nice and malty and biscuity and bready. But it's that bitterness. It's that kind of real raw. I'm going to say I'm going to go with this. It's a raw bitterness. If if you. If you're a lover of these kind of IPA, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to call this. This is this is definitely a British IPA. This is a definitely a British style kind of hoppy British hop IPA. In terms of style, I'll say that. Um, if you would prefer your beer to be a little bit more malty and bready and maybe kind of barley wine like, if that what. If that's what you were expecting from this beer and you've purchased a bottle, then I firmly suggest you put this away for a year. Put it somewhere cool and dark and leave it for a year. Let those hops fade a bit. Let the hops fade. Let the malts kind of become more of a prominent factor in the beer. And I think you'll enjoy the beer more. However, if you're a highly hopped, love the bitterness, like me, I love the bitterness. If you, if you like that kind of earthy, spicy, peppery, raw, stinging nettle-like bitterness from a, from a British hop, like IPA style of beer, which I firmly believe this is, then drink this fresh. Drink it fresh. That would be my suggestion. It's... It's blooming good though. It is blooming good. It's really interesting. Um, I was expecting, because I've had an Elgood's beer recently, I think it was for the Queen's Jubilee. I think Elgood's teamed up with Marks and Spencer's just over a year ago now, 2022, the summer of 2022, when the Queen's Jubilee was happening and they produced the Jubilee beer, which was really bready and malty and biscuity. Um, I was so 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 I was presuming this was going to be something very similar, but it's not. No, this is this is definitely more kind of hop forward, but in a British sense. British hops. So 
a strong English ale brewed at the North Brink Brewery to celebrate over 225 years of brewing. The beer is bottle conditioned, store cool and allow to age for flavour and carbonation to develop. There you go. Best served at around 10 to 12 degrees, our 225th year was in fact 2020. Ah, yeah, but of course 2020, we all know what happened then. Um, but sadly we were not able to brew much during the situation that saw our industry close down. The beer is a tribute to the longevity of the brewery, our dedication and passion for brewing beer as a fifth generation family owned private brewery. The recipe uses pale ale malt, crystal and amber malts for a full flavoured uh, beer with fruity esters. Hot bitterness from English traditional varieties, there you go. Definitely British variety. I've not read this, by the way. Um, Fuggles and Challenger with Goldings late in the boil. After primary fermentation, the beer was stored in tank for two months, dry hopped on newer variety of English hops, Jester and Emperor. The final flavour is a very full, juicy malt with hot, complex hop characters. As the beer is bottle conditioned, the flavour will develop further with time as the secondary yeast slowly works producing high carbonation. Well, I think, let's have a little nosy then at more of this beer, but I think the beer's kind of carbonated enough, to be honest with you. It's quite a carbonate, you can see the carbonation. It's not overly hissy and fizzy, but you can see the carbonation in the bottom of the glass here. For me, that's, for an ale, it's, it's carbonated enough. I think what maybe, I, I, it's a very small kind of, I mean, it's done now, they've written the label, haven't they? But I think what they may have probably could have slightly worded it differently if I was writing a, the, 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 but I, you know, I'm not a brewer, um, is maybe they might have been able to talk more about where they dry hopped it with British hops. British hops are, I mean, you can dry hop with American hops. You can dry hop with New Zealand hops. You can dry hop with Australian hops and many other kind of like, like hot country hops, if you like. But British hops are, are, are not necessarily well kind of versed for dry hopping. Um, you get a lot of earthiness, a lot of spiciness, a lot of kind of rawness, a lot of stinging nettle. Um, they would be so 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 with me mentioning about bottle conditioning this beer, it'll age in the, the, the beer in the bottle for a year. Um, you're going to get the hops to drop. And it's going to kind of drop down to the level where the malt is. And, and I think you'll get a little bit more balance from the beer. Um, I mean, I might reach out to Al Goods Brewery. I might reach out to them and say, hey, um, if you've got another bottle, please send it to me. And we'll, we, we might hold on to a bottle for a year or 18 months and then bring it back out and, and give it another go. I think that might be the best kind of outcome here to do that because I think it'll be a much much better beer as it is it's very good there's no denying it. it's very very good there's lots of good qualities about this beer it's an 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer but I think with time and with age this beer will only get better it'll only get better I hope you liked the video please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers